This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating the mass defect. The mass of a nucleus is slightly less than the sum of the masses of the nucleons that make up the nucleus. Here we have a helium nucleus, which is composed of two protons and two neutrons. And here we have the mass of the nucleus. On the left, we have the nucleons that make up a helium nucleus. That's two protons and two neutrons. And here we have the mass of the four nucleons. If we compare the masses, we can see that the mass of the helium nucleus is slightly less than the mass of the four nucleons that make up the helium nucleus. This difference in mass is known as the mass defect. The mass defect is the difference between the mass of a nucleus and the sum of the masses of its nucleons. To calculate the mass defect, we subtract the mass of the nucleus from the total mass of the nucleons that make up the nucleus. Next, we'll calculate the mass defect of a helium nucleus. Here we have the masses in kilograms of a proton, neutron and electron. The mass of a helium nucleus is 6.64477 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. A helium nucleus contains two protons and two neutrons. To calculate the mass defect, we multiply the mass of a proton times 2 and we add that to 2 times the mass of a neutron. We then subtract the mass of the helium nucleus to give us our mass defect. In our next example, we'll calculate the mass defect of a copper 63 nucleus. The mass of a copper 63 nucleus is 1.04474 times 10 to the negative 25 kilograms. A copper 63 nucleus contains 29 protons and 34 neutrons. To calculate the mass defect, we multiply the mass of a proton by 29 and we add that to 34 times the mass of a neutron. We then subtract the mass of a copper 63 nucleus to give us our mass defect. 